All right. Prefacing for, prefacing for this. Um, I don't know how to edit, so there's really, this is really just gonna be one long rant, as well a bunch of my videos before I figure out how editing works. And I also don't know how to talk very often or very long, so a lot of just a lot of my a lot of my uh, talking just gonna sound like a combo of stuttering and the gargling of donkey balls. I don't know how that how that's gonna make you feel, but you'll just have to bear with me for the time because this is just gonna be rough as hell. Fortunately, I got some notes here today, so it won't sound like I'm really gargling donkey balls. So we'll just go from there. All right, yeah, okay. Being original, being original. It's a flap open. Being original. All right. So, when I was twelve, I wanted to be George Carlin. Then I realized it wasn't funny, so I had to go find something else. Then I then I was fifteen. I decided I'll just be Ace Frehley because Ace Frehley is fucking awesome. Then I realized, well, I can't really be Ace Frehley. I'll just do something else. I'll be Randy Rhodes because Randy Rhodes is only I, only did like two fucking significant albums, even and you know he's fucking dead. So there's a gap to fill. And now I'm twenty, and now I realized. Well, I've realized, maybe a little beforehand, but now, right, as I'm making this video, is I'll just fucking be myself, you know? And the reason I came to this conclusion was the realization that it's already been done, you know? Like, these, these things that I mentioned, these people that I mentioned that I would copy, right? It's already happened. These people have done their thing. They have made their stamp. Trying to copy them is not really productive. If anything, it's anticlimactic. It's anti-productive or anticlimactic or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's fucking dumb is what I'm saying. It makes no sense to try and be a copy of anyone. Especially nowadays because everyone's trying to copy someone. With, you know, like, trends and whatnot on the internet which is lame uh, and just lazy my hair is really, really tangled I thought I combed this shit already fucking hell anyway yeah being original it makes a lot more sense than just be a copy it's not just the fact that it's lame to be a, be a, be a clone of anyone but it's also just very forgettable, right? Like how many fucking pop stars do you see copying trends? And how many of them actually hold out, stick out for now? I mean, for like, you know, like five, ten years. Like how many of them do you expect to remember? Same thing with TV shows. Like, let's say The Office. You know how they had like that documentary thing going? And then all these other TV shows copied it? But how many of them actually lasted and made an impact? I can only think of, like, fucking Parks and Recreation. Maybe there's a few other ones, but... Would, all the other ones failed. And the same thing goes for your music, which is, you know, my real point. Being a copy of someone just makes no sense, especially musically. Musically, it's the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Think like Eddie Van Halen. What happened when what happened when Eddie Van Halen came onto the scene? Everyone starts copying Eddie, right? Everyone, everyone starts copying him, and the only people that made it out of that, the only people that made an impact, were people that didn't copy Eddie. They took influence from him, yeah, but they did their own thing. Think Slash, think McMars, Randy Rhodes, George Lynch, Warren D. Martini, Zach Wild, right? You don't hear about you don't hear, you don't really hear people talk about fucking Vito Barada, because as good as Vito was, he was a fucking copy. I mean, you listen to the Pride record. How many how many of those riffs and licks and that tone? God, that tone! It sounds so fucking Eddie like, and it was ridiculous. I mean, how many of you how many of you actually know who Vito Barada is? If you're listening to this shit, right? I mean. It's not a lot, I imagine. 
I didn't. Really, I only knew, but knew about no. I I only know about Vio probably because I just did a lot of fucking digging on the internet to find different people to steal shit from, and that took a while, right? Because there's a lot of music and a lot of people to listen to. There's a lot of different people to listen to, and a copy is not going to be my first thing. If you want to talk about modern day, take Greta Van Fleet. That's a that's actually a perfect example. Greta Van Fleet is a Zeppelin copy. I don't care what anyone says. They're a copy of Zeppelin. I'm sure most, if not all, of you agree with that, right? I mean, they sound. I mean, even Plant Robert Plant said they sound like Led Zeppelin one. Why? Because that's who they're trying to emulate. Led Zeppelin at Led Zeppelin one. <sighs> and they suck because they're a copy. They're not original at all, you know. And that happens with a lot of bands now too. A lot of bands just sound like they're copies of other groups. A lot of musicians sound like they're copies of other musicians. And what happens is that people realize this and they clown them because they're not original. There is nothing original about being a copy, and people clown this. Now, what Grav and Fleet are lucky because are lucky because they're the biggest copy ever. They have a big fan base. And people, I think, people, I think people just oh, just tend to overlook the fact that they just don't really care about the fact that they're a copy. But they'll always be a copy because they're always trying to emulate someone. Now, if Gravity and Fleet did a record and completely changed the way they sound, people would stop stop um comparing them to Led Zeppelin. But they don't, and because of that, they get copies. They, they're a reference to Led Zeppelin, and so their legacy will always be that Zeppelin copy. And they're not the first band to do this. There was a band in the late 80s that I heard about called Kingdom Come. That was the same thing. It was a Zeppelin copy. And they did not last long. Mind you, like I said, this is the late 80s. So this is like at the end of the hair metal movement. You know, right before Nirvana came around to fuck things up for everyone. But even then, they weren't doing very well. They had like one gold record and then people stopped, stopped giving a fuck because it's a, it's a Zeppelin copy. You know, why do I want to listen, listen to a copy of Led Zeppelin when I can just listen to Led Zeppelin and get a much better result and a much better feeling from that? Hmm. And so now no one knows who the fuck Kingdom Come are. I don't think about Kingdom Come. I didn't think about Kingdom Come until literally just now. Right? So... So if you want to be original, just do your thing. That should be my next point. Be original and do your thing, all right? Yeah. You know, you got to be, be completely separate from the pack. And not follow anyone for any fucking reason. You know, just be yourself. Like I said, going back to the Eddie Van Halen thing, right? It's, uh... Mick Mars, he didn't copy Eddie. Sure, he used a couple of his wax, but Mick was completely different from Eddie. And when I was starting to like get into heavy metal, Mick Mars stood out to me because he was like one of the few guitar players that didn't copy Eddie at all. I couldn't hear a fucking thing of him that sounded like Eddie, even remotely. And it wasn't even until like much later, like 87, 88, 89, that he started, that he'd stole maybe one or two of Eddie's likes. And even then, he was still original, like, he was still himself. And to me, that mattered. To me, that, that just sounded really cool, you know? I mean, just being yourself, being original. Um, yeah, I mean, just be original. Do your own thing. Don't be a copy. And if you are going to take inspiration from someone, don't just, just do it. leave it at that. Leave it as inspiration, you know? I got a couple, I got like two EVH guitars, and, like, and I'm going to, Mod, modify them, mod them, modify whatever you fuck it, right? We gotta change up because it's not me. This is look, it's a cool guitar. It's not me. It's gotta be me. It's gotta be all Hollywood. Hollywood can't have other can't be playing other people's guitars. Hollywood's gotta have his own fucking thing going. That's what I'm gonna do, right? I get some money. I gotta start changing pickups. Start be painting some of these motherfuckers. Make it all me. All Hollywood.
because I gotta be me. I can't be Eddie, I can't be Randy, Slash, Ace, Mick, Jake, Yui, whoever the fuck. I gotta be me. I can't be copying other people. You shouldn't copy them either. You shouldn't try and copy fucking Robert Plant or Steven Tyler or I don't know, whoever the fuck you want to use. Just be you. Be original. All original. That's about it. See ya.